So, let's talk about the haunting of Ethel Pope Auditorium. Okay, well there's an old story that's been told for years. It was my fourth year as the drama club advisor, and it was the first thing I was told about, is that the theater is haunted. And um, for the initiation for the, our new students into the drama club, they have to go downstairs into the basements, into the dark rooms where the spirit uh, haunts stays. But actually, she's been felt her presence throughout the whole auditorium. Okay, there's a story about Jeanette, and the story, this is the first story I heard. Um, she was cast in Romeo and Juliet, a student that went to school here. And on her way to the um, performance, she was in a terrible car accident and lost her life. And the story is that she did perform that night because people called her mom to say, oh, she was so fantastic. And her mom said she never performed, she never made it to the theater. So. The most recent uh, encounter was a few weeks ago. Some people from my first period class were here on a Saturday and they went down the basement. Uh, that's creepy enough as it is. And they were looking through the costumes and they came across a letterman jacket with Jeanette stitched into it. And immediately, from what I've been told, everything just felt cold. And it was just um, feeling her presence, like someone standing behind you and that you can feel when someone's there physically. So that would, that's what it was. And also um, a touching someone's hair was touched. So. I mean, I've had some weird experiences before. Um, Tell us about that. In the basement, when after a show, we would strike the set, and me and another girl that graduated would always go and work in the like the dressing room area. And this one dress that was always used as Julia's dress would never stay hung up, no matter how we would put it on different hangers and different spots. It would never stay hung up, and it would always fall. It's on the ground. So the dress that we just found on the ground? Yeah, see, it never stays hang hung up. So has Jeanette or any of the other ghosts any done any, ever done anything of violent nature? Or are they pretty much just making their presence known? This is a friendly ghost, yes. Yeah, so. And it's also believed that Ethel Pope visits here. This building is named after her and built in her honor. And we always save a seat for Ethel in the front during a performance. We cross it off so she can sit there and watch the performance. And um, all the students believe she does come from the performances. For more information on education in the Santa Maria Valley, follow me, Krista Chandler, on Santa Maria Times or on Twitter at Krista's B. <laughs>